This video provides a practical demonstration of the dynamic road test specified in the Brake Assessment Manual under Option 4 for assessing a modified vehicle or an individually constructed vehicle. The test may also be required based on the certifier's assessment of the data provided under Option 3. The test should be viewed in conjunction with the Brake Assessment Manual, which provides details of how to do the tests and how to use the results of the tests. Test D checks that the master cylinder in a split service brake system has enough displacement to operate an individual circuit in event of one of the circuits failing. Do not simply clamp off the brake hose, as this does not simulate a failure in a circuit. Tests F and G are required to ensure the vehicle can be safely brought to a stop if either the front or rear brakes fail. These tests also verify that the vehicle's ABS is working properly. The front and rear brakes are tested separately. Both tests are done with the vehicle lightly and heavily loaded, travelling at 55 km per hour. The booster failure test checks that the vehicle can stop if the booster fails. To do the test, the booster is disconnected. The vehicle should be tested with the maximum loaded test mass and the vehicle in gear. To pass this test, the modified vehicle needs to meet one of four conditions in Table D of the manual. The spike stop test applies sudden and instantaneous load to the vehicle to test the function of the brake components under duress. The test is performed at 55 km per hour in neutral. 10 stops are required if the vehicle is lightly loaded or 5 stops if the maximum loaded test mass is used. Care should be taken not to lock the wheels during this test as that can damage the tyres. The test should be repeated if the wheels lock during testing. This test is used to check the front wheels lock before the rear wheels. This test should be performed with the tyres between 65 to 100 degrees and should be performed on a surface with a low coefficient of friction, like grass or a wet surface. The front wheels should lock up before the rear wheels, and this should be obvious to the naked eye. Test J records how the vehicle's brakes perform when they are cold and the vehicle is coasting. The temperature of the brakes must be between 65 and 100 degrees at the beginning of the test. The test is done to see how the brakes perform within the temperature range generated during normal and extreme driving conditions. The test is performed with the vehicle heavily and lightly loaded. The test speed depends on the modification. This test checks brakes functionality when the brakes are being heated beyond their normal operating temperatures. This test is performed by applying and releasing the brakes 15 times in total to the vehicle travelling 80 km per hour, which should reduce to 40 km per hour under braking. This test checks brake performance when they are hot. The test is performed with the vehicle heavily and lightly loaded. The test speed depends on the modification. The test is performed immediately after test K and is performed under the same conditions as test J, although the brake's temperature can be different. This test checks brake performance when they are hot and are being brought back to a normal temperature range, as is done immediately after test L. The vehicle is stopped four times from 50 km per hour to a complete stop with the engine connected. Immediately after coming to each stop, the car should be accelerated at its maximum rate up to a speed of 50 km per hour, and that speed should be maintained for at least 1.5 km until making the next stop. If the test facility is not long enough to allow the vehicle travel for 1.5 km, a shorter distance can be used. Care is required if the distance used is too short. The brakes don't get enough time to cool down between test runs and they could overheat.
This test checks the brakes recovery when they've been brought back to their normal operating temperature range and is done immediately following test M. The test is conducted at varying speeds depending on the modification. The braking system is measured in the same conditions as for test J, although the brakes temperature conditions can be different.